I'm Fiona Williams. I'm working for Ericsson in Aachen in Germany, where I've been living for the past 22 years. But you probably recognize from my accent that I grew up uh, in Dublin, in Malahide, north of here, and moved to Germany some time ago. I'm here to represent the Finesc project, um, which is a future internet PPP project that started operations on the 1st of March. And it's looking at bringing ICT technology to the smart grid area, smart energy. Uh, the conference is great. The presentations give a really broad perspective on what's happening in the big data, data area and show what's happening both in the technologies for big data analysis, the policy issues uh, that are starting to be addressed at European and national level, and also is giving insight into the various uh, application sectors where big data analysis can enable new business models. In some areas, Europe is ready for big data. It depends on the sector you're looking at. Uh, the development of data analysis is coming along at different paces in different sectors as they open up their data to uh, the development of APIs and apps for uh, private users. And in many areas, policy changes and regulatory changes are needed in order to be able to use the data and to be sure who owns it and what the context is. And I think it's very important that we set up a new policy framework for data privacy in Europe uh, so that everybody is clear about what will happen to data and how it can be used and that we maintain a very positive image for the whole big data area by being proactive on data privacy issues. In the Finesc project, we're planning to launch an open call for new participants to join the project. We'll be launching the call during the summer with a closing date in, uh, towards the end of quarter three this year, in October or November. And we have two parts to our open call. We're looking for small companies, in um, particular startups, to apply for uh, grants of up to 50,000 euro to present their ideas on what they could do in relation to uh, analyzing data for the smart grid and becoming involved Involved with the project activities around field trials for smart energy. We're also um, providing the opportunity for new companies, particularly small companies, to join our project for the second year of operations. And they could propose to join one of the trials we're running in any of seven different countries or to develop applications. And we would particularly welcome companies that wanted to bring a big data angle to our smart energy field trials. Again, the call will close later in the year and people should contact me directly if they think it could be of interest to them. Yes, the conference is very exciting. It's really interesting to meet such an international audience. And uh, as in the previous events, the European Data Forum events, a, a wide range of countries are represented. And uh, the perspectives from so many different sectors are very interesting to learn about. There are so many overlaps when you talk about the big data and so many differences in the timescales with which different sectors are developing. It's really interesting to talk to the other participants. Um, there are a wide range of stakeholders represented here at this event. I've met policy makers from national and European level and in fact from the USA also over lunch. Um, I've met people from uh, research institutes and universities from all over Europe. And there are people from a wide range of industries whom I also know from other contacts, uh, from the transport sector, from the defense sector, aerospace sector. A very wide range of user industries are represented here at the forum. And in fact, I think the range of industries represented, that could be further increased as big data takes off in different sectors in the coming years. And what will probably happen is that big data will become a theme for many sector-oriented conferences. So for example, in the smart energy area you often see sessions on big data these days as a theme for smart energy because it's developing so quickly there's so much information becoming available from sensors and, and measurement equipment deployed in the smart grid and that data needs to be collected and analyzed and acted on in real time if we have to we are to implement a smart grid in Europe